Well, my name's Jason Gillespie. I'm with uh, Chesterfield Fire and EMS. We're in uh, Chesterfield County, Virginia, just outside of Richmond. Uh, got a county that's uh, about 430 square miles. We have 350,000 people plus population. 23 engine companies, five truck companies, and uh, you know, multiple medic companies. Um, so we're here doing final inspection on uh, our latest two pumpers. They're uh, enforcer cab puck body uh, pumpers. Uh, these will make the fourth and fifth of the enforcer cabs that we purchased. Uh, we started replacing our, our pumpers with the uh, puck concept in 2015 and uh, switched over to the enforcer cab uh, a couple of years ago. So this concept we've got uh, in working with having a clean cab concept we've got the ability for the driver and the officer to store their turnout gear after it gets soiled outside of the cab in a uh, enclosed secure compartment to keep some of the carcinogens out of the, uh, the cab. Uh, again the enforcer cab allowed us to lower our hose uh, our cross lays to a uh, little bit more ergonomic location. And then again, the, uh, the puck body allows for just so much equipment storage all the way around. With uh, the officer side having two full height, full depth compartments, as well as the over the wheel compartment. This unit also has top side storage. And again, the puck body allows for the ladder storage to be fully enclosed, keeps it out of the weather, keeps the road grime off of it and keeps all of our equipment uh, in a clean, secure storage location. Have a hose roll, hose reel in the rear, and the uh, supply bed allows for 1,300 foot of five inch supply line and 500 feet of three inch supply line, along with a gated down uh, extender line on top of that. So again, like everybody else, we're, we're constantly battling a space issue with a, more and more equipment that we're required to carry. So the puck body allows for so much more storage as compared to some of our other uh, older apparatus. On this particular unit, we changed and we put that uh, that hanger in the back there, uh, that was a concept that came from uh, one of our engine companies. We're actually gonna lower that down and we'll store some high rise bundles over top of that and drape the hose over, over the top of it. So this idea here was to, uh, to allow for a little bit more uh, in cab storage. We got this concept from a neighboring department. So we lower that down and allow for shelves for PFDs and our uh, ballistic vests, some of the other things that we, we battle a secure location to store in a uh, enclosed compartment. This unit, particular unit, has a Wayland core lighting package on it, which allows for a, a more, uh, less hectic lighting, uh, pattern when it's parked at an incident scene and a more random traditional lighting package when you're traveling down the road with the random brighter lighting package between the two. So again in the parked mode the uh, Wayland Core package allows for a, a less hectic lighting package when you're parked at an incident scene, less distraction to the oncoming drivers and the passers-by but during response, it has a more traditional, vibrant, attention-getting light package to allow the uh, other traffic to notice you and get out of your way.